everyone welcome to a new video and so what can i say this morning has been quite interesting it's freezing cold outside uh, my hot water doesn't work my heating doesn't work at home and the car wouldn't start this morning and i had to drop two kids off at different schools so for one we could walk to school and for the other one i took the bicycle and now I'm here in the studio and I'm just trying to get relaxed again and I'm relaxed and it's nice and warm here and the kids are fine. So in the studio for a newborn session with a little girl and she is bringing her big sister. So I'm going to try and take photos of the sisters together. Big sister is four years old so I'm going to show the different poses that I do. Um, also I'm going to throw on some backdrops and I'll show you. So they have chosen um, like yellow and mustard yellow for their session colors and salmon so we're going to start with salmon and later the yellow tones little outfits here ready wraps maybe even a hat i think as a second decor i think this is really nice to place a ball on so I'm just going to try and experiment with that. Because it's such a thick little fabric, I think it's nice to use that instead of the rubber floor mat. Uh, just to create like a different look. So here I have the flocati I'm going to use for the sibling shots, lying them next to each other. Um, here I have, depending on if she's awake, if she's deep asleep, a decor. I might use the flocati and then I want to use uh, this setup for the sibling shots. I might even keep the circles there, I think it's really nice. So after I continue showing you amazing behind the scenes shots 
and the final images of this gorgeous newborn baby let me explain to you how I usually pose a newborn with a sibling so what I usually do when I'm photographing a newborn with a toddler brother or sister is that I don't start with those photos like I first let them come in uh, I actually focus more on the toddler than on the baby because uh, the baby is usually sleeping anyway when they come in and they're just in their little car seat um, so I'll introduce myself to the toddler and I'll show them the play area I might even take out the wooden train track and start building it with them while I'll you know tell the parents where they can put their jackets and stuff like that so um, then the toddler usually starts playing there with for example one of the parents um, and I will start focusing on the newborn so sometimes the toddler comes and check what I'm doing with their baby brother or sister so I'll just explain it a little bit I'll show them I also have a wooden camera because some toddlers really like to copy what I'm doing so then I give them the baby doll that I have here in the studio and this wooden camera and they can place the baby doll in like a basket or bowl or on the flocati and then they can also take photos um, sometimes they're completely not interested in what I'm doing so that's great so then maybe if the baby is being nursed I will go over to the toddler again and I have this little game where you can uh, fish like a wooden fish I'll show you later uh, then I usually play that with them or I'll get them something to drink or a little snack and just chat with them if it's a girl I do have some dresses here in the studio that some girls really like like these white or light pink uh, princess dresses and some flowers for in their hair so we can play with that in front of the mirror uh, if they're up for it I will already take some photos of just a toddler by herself or himself so that they can get used to the camera they can check on the back of the camera what the photos look like we can just play peekaboo sometimes I'll ask them you know what's your favorite animal what sound does the animal make and then we'll do animal sounds all depending on the age and how much the toddler is interested in interacting with me um, and then usually we'll go to the newborn like in a prop like in a bowl whatever and then we wrap up well the newborn by himself or herself photos and then the newborn is usually wrapped and in a bowl so what I do then is I leave the baby in the bowl and I'll place it on a backdrop so for example right there and then I'll ask the toddler if he or she wants to sit right next to the bowl and point out the little nose of their baby brother or baby sister so I'll ask them does, does she have a nose as well and where, where is her nose can you point it out for me and then usually they kneel down right next to the bowl where the baby sat they'll point at the baby they'll even touch the nose sometimes they want to sit uh, next to the bowl I'll place the bowl in between their legs they can give a little kiss some babies or some toddlers are really cooperative so they will press their little cheeks against the cheek of the baby if you ask them they don't have to hold the baby They're, this baby sister is not even two years old yet so she's not gonna hold the baby if the brother or sister is a little bit older I'll ask them to sit on the floor with their legs crossed place their elbows on their knees and then uh, I'll ask them if they're okay holding the baby usually I've spoken with the parents before asking if they already held the baby at home if they're comfortable with it if they think that their son or daughter is capable of holding the baby and then I'll still ask the parents to sit right next to the older brother or sister so that if by any chance they will pull out their arms because they're done with it the baby's not going to drop on the floor they will still be resting on the legs of the child but then the parent will be there as well to take over the baby um, if that worked great we'll move over to the flocati so the flocati is that fluffy blanket right there um, it's very soft you can lie on your back on the blanket and it's uh, very comfortable so what I usually do is I place two pillows underneath the flocati this is like for traveling and this is what I place the newborn in they're filled with these little pearls that are also in my beanbag and this is also like a neck resting pillow I think uh, but it's perfect for the toddler because it's nice and soft underneath so then I would of course take away the prop that's currently on the flocati I will turn around the flocati because I'm taking the photo like this horizontally and then it's just very easy underneath I'll place here the pillow of the toddler and here the pillow of the newborn right next to each other and then I cover it up again with the flocati 
I might you know, move them into space. So here you can have the head of the toddler, and then here the newborn will be right next to them or on their shoulder. And then because the pillow is like shaped as a moon almost, uh, it also prevents the newborn from rolling away from the toddler. Then depending on the age, I'll have the toddler just lie on his or her back, looking towards the ceiling, and then have the newborn right next to them. And if they're okay with it, I'll ask them if they want to have the baby on their arms, if they want to hold the baby. So the baby will be with his or her head in their shoulder, and then they can place their other hand on the belly, and they can close their eyes as well, look at me, give a little kiss. Yeah, if they ever pull out their arm really fast, the baby is still supported by the pillow that's underneath the flocati and the flocati itself. They're really soft, but the parents will be right next to them as well. Uh, if the toddler really doesn't want to lie down, we can always try to have a little cartoon playing on someone's phone and hold that right above the toddler so he or she can lie on his or her back and look at the phone, look at the cartoon. Um, sometimes I have the parents lie next to the like next to the toddler, but on the other side, not, not on the side of the baby, but just on the other side. So the toddler is okay lying on his or her back because they know that you know their mom or dad is lying right next to them. Uh, so those are my little tricks. And then we do the family photo. So the parents are both holding a child. Or if the child is a little bit older, I'll have him or her standing on a chair on the other side of the mom who is holding the newborn. And then, for example, the dad will be on one side and the sibling will be on the other side and the baby will be in the middle. Uh, and they all hold each other in their arms. So something like that. Okay, so yeah, we finished the newborn session and it went so well. Um, even though I had quite a messy morning before coming here, just being here in the studio is so calming and um, 
this is my oasis like i i just love being in the studio and it really calms me down and then i just get into the flow and everything's great so yeah so you know i'm gonna get home and see if i can get someone to fix the heater and um pick up my daughter from school school walking pick up my son from school riding our bicycles so we'll be fine um yeah, sometimes a life can appear very perfect on the outside, um, but everybody is, you know, facing daily struggles and that's okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I just, I love my job. So this was a great session. The big sister uh, cooperated really well. Um, she was four, four is usually a very easy age to work with, four, five, six, seven. I mean, that's just easy. Three-year-olds can be okay really depending on the child and their mood two-year-olds can be more challenging uh, but still you can make you can take amazing shots with the two-year-old uh, just make them feel comfortable and um, yeah just play with them maybe don't ask them to give the baby a kiss but you know see if they can point out the little nose but do it in a playful manner uh, where you are searching for their nose and they're searching for your nose and then we're searching for the daddy's nose and then let's find the baby's nose you know just kind of go, go with the flow so thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it please like subscribe and leave a comment love to read your comments and then uh, you can see me in my next video